Hey everybody, this is Justin Buse and I'd like to show you how to use the fur particle pack today. And pretty much what the best thing to do with these brushes is, is to stack light with the hair. So the light hairs over the dark hairs and the dark hairs over the light hairs. And as you can see, even in the natural patterns of fur, it goes back and forth. And if you stick with that, you should be able to do pretty much anything you want to the fur. In this case, these ducklings look pretty clean and I wanted to dirty them up a little since they, they were in the dirt. And um, uh, later on, I might make this make it rain in this picture or something. Um, I wanted it, I wanted to make it look like they had been through just a little something together and it was only obvious if you look closely. Not something that was too obvious or too rough on uh, two tiny babies like that. There is a, a smear brush onto the left side of the particle shop with the little finger pointing out there. And you can use these to, um, you can use that, that, that tool to smear down some of your edges on some of the hard fur, like you can see me doing it there a little bit. And I'm going back through it and just making sure things are still soft. Uh, sometimes you get that hard digital edge you want to get rid of. Um, but that's pretty much it. You want to go back and forth between light and dark because that light is bouncing around and there's color variation anyways throughout the fur. And um, uh, if you want to add any highlights, I recommend, especially if you're a professional doing this not just for fun, for somebody else's photo, um, go ahead and study some light. Uh, the best book I can recommend would be James Gurney's um, Color and Light. Um, and that you, you just learn all these light sources and and how to how the light acts on on almost everything so i'm going to soften up the ground here and make these a little more of a focus um, but as you can see what i did was mostly just color picking and that's the best way to do most particles but with these particularly i just wanted to go back and forth like that and that way you're you're editing the fur but you're keeping things realistic because fur is so sensitive and all it takes is one wrong stroke of in the hair or fur or whatever it is you're editing and the whole thing can just be a wreck even though even though the picture is so beautiful so i hope that helps you use this pack a little um, and I hope that helps you to make something that you like yourself. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you around the internet.